Hello, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions bringing you a bonus tip today because Robert Griffin asked a question on one of the Chief Architect Facebook groups, uh, how to do this panel molding and specifically how to do this vertical molding here. Uh, so I want to show you how you can actually do the whole panel right there in one polyline. Uh, Robert said he's got these uh, set up properly, uh, so we won't worry about that but, uh, too much, but I will actually um, try that out as well. You could quickly do a, I think he said he did a um, room molding polyline, and let's do a default base molding and open that up. Uh, so we've got a molding at the bottom and make a copy of this and I'm going to set this one at let's say uh, 36 to the top uh, so it's kind of like a chair rail but you could do it that way too uh, then I would take whether you do maybe you take a polyline solid or a um, uh, wall material region and make these come on right um, however you want to make these uh, panels and I'm just gonna these are gonna be quick and dirty here um, like so right you've got the basics going on there of the panel start. Now, the molding, that panel molding, I just created a, a square polyline and drew a poly, polyline box in here. And I'm going to convert that, convert the polyline to a 3D molding in this case. And let's uh, replace that with one of our moldings here. Um, what molding do we want to do? You'd, you'd have to, you know, find whatever molding profile you want. Um, let's do, let's do do that one right there okay you might have to uncheck and play with extrude inside or not you might have to um, do some uh, offsets that looks pretty good right there actually that doesn't look appropriate so let's do it like so and let's reflect. No, nope, that didn't work. There we go. That would work. Just play with the depths, play with the um, position. Now, this is a 3D molding. You're going to, that means you can. Uh, play with these corners and make this a wonky type of molding that goes you know so that these three corners are all on the wall and you could technically bring this corner out from touching the wall so to move this to select this in um, plan view I, I've got my toolbar set up over here to uh, select contained objects uh, that is, I can't think of where that is. Um, so I select contained objects and drag a uh, box around it. So I've got, now I can just copy this as a whole piece. You cannot just click on it and select it. So I'm just going to copy it over here. And in this case, I will then, in my elevation, 
move it into place. You can, in the elevation, select it and copy it from here and move it and resize it as well. Hope that helps. Uh, thanks so much. Take care.